Hi everyone. Good morning. I'm just like, oh, I'm still trying to wake up. So <clears throat> I have my skinny brew from It Works and know that you can purchase it on my um I think it's in, in the link. Um, and for Skinny Brew, I just use, like I said, I use a little bit of cream uh, because it is pretty, it is like black coffee. I don't use any sugar at all. Uh, but it does smell really good. It smells like a good, really and I use my um, frother. I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what I was doing before I had a father. Like fathers are the best thing in the world. Seriously, I never do this and not make a mess. Anyway. With my AKA cup. I sometimes catch my husband drinking from it and I just am like, why? We have all these other cups. But then I can't complain because he has a fatherhood, like there's a father cup and I drink from that. So. Mm. Anywho, I came because I have recommendations. And so, um, I use body scrub every single morning and I scrub my body pretty much, uh, especially because I uh, use body wraps and it's a great way to like uh, scrub down like oil and stuff like that. And it just, it just leaves me with a very, very good fresh feeling. And so I want to show you so I've been going down this rabbit hole of like different body scrubs, even though I've already showed you my favorite one, but I still kind of, and I'll bring it back to remind you that my favorite is by Fresh. Fresh has an incredible body scrub, but it's pricey. And so therefore I've been trying to like find other supplements. Um, so I tried that Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works has a great body scrub, but I think they discontinued it. It's the, um, um, it's the aromatherapy, I'm trying to think of the name. It's the aromatherapy that is, um, I think it's their signature one because uh, they make the most products from it. Uh, it's the one, it's the green one. So it's, like I uh, eucalyptus and I use a eucalyptus mint and I use a lot of eucalyptus mint, especially when the kids have a cold. That's when it's like, okay, let's break out all the eucalyptus. Anyway, by the way, since we've been on quarantine, my kids have gotten sick once and that's recent. And what's so fascinating about, they've had a cough and a sniffle she had the girl child um and she's and this has been a year and when she caught a cold i was like wait what do you what is that i don't even it's like i forgot what colds were like and so what i was thinking of um and even this cold that she has nothing to what it used to be like it used to take her out um and it used to be like at least a week or two maybe three before she feels like herself like a couple of like literally two days the code's gone and it's like so this whole i mean this whole going back to school thing is like there's so many perks for them staying home and number one i had a cold and that thing left with a quickness. And so the idea of like not having colds, I don't think, I think Henry may have had a cold maybe once or twice. And all of them were like relatively mild, like 
it just kind of came and went and it was amazing my eye is bothering me anyway okay back to the aromatherapy so um i tried the aromatherapy energy it's okay um it's the pumas body scrub i'm trying to think of what it, what it used to smell like it definitely woke you up in the morning i forgot um it it it's pink and it was just woo because <laughs> the smell is is definitely overpowering that's for sure um the one i'm using now is ocean the first time i used it i was like i don't like this smell but now i'm getting used to it um i'm almost done and i'll show you fresh i've used vitamin nectar and i'm gonna tell you that when I first did it, I was like, Ugh, uh, I cringed because it had a lot of, um, it almost felt like putting bits of oranges. It's the best way can I describe it because it was like chopped fruit kind of like almost on your face. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure how I like this, but it actually turned out to be pretty cool. And it's supposed to do vibrancy boosting face mask. It was it was actually pretty cool. Now, I don't know about you, but I do a lot of, um, I've been getting like a, a lot of testers. And so I really love testers only because I feel like it gives me an open window to see if there's something that I really like. And I got this tester here from Kate Spade is live color fully. And um, I'm going to tell you that it's not easy to find. So I was like, you gave me a tester of something that you don't even sell? <laughs> like, it was Nordstrom. Nordstrom doesn't even sell it. You have to go to Nordstrom Rack to, to buy it. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Y'all just give me leftovers. But it smells really, really good. Um, book recommendations. So my daughter and son both are in love with comic books and comic book movies and one of the reasons why um not just because i enjoy it but it's also another reason why i kind of gotten them sucked into this is because um it it really vitalizes their critical thinking skills so I have, uh, so I wanna give some recommendations. Naomi is, is one, and my, my favorite one is something that you don't, is that they don't even make anymore, which is um, Ironheart. Like she is my favorite um, and it's really unfortunate. They don't make it anymore. Uh, Eternals. I mean, she's she's she doesn't have her her own book anymore because they discontinued it, and they're coming. She's going to be incorporated into the MCU right now. The Eternals, something to pick up. I'm I'm bringing up the Eternals right now because there's going to be uh, this is going to be going on with Eternals. This is is going to be extremely popular right now uh, because of marvel's new movie that's coming out this year the end of the year is eternals and for those of you who have been watching wandavision um and spider-man i need for you to go pick up some doctor strange because doctor strange 2 is coming out and doctor strange 2 is going to be in relationship with WandaVision and he's going to be in relationship with Spider-Man 2. I suspect that um, because Doctor Strange in the comics oh boy Doctor Strange in the comics is um You know they're going into this spider verse and and uh we definitely see a lot of that uh that's probably going to play out in 
um, with one with, after WandaVision's over. And I suspect that Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange has had a relationship with, well, I mean, they've he's been with a few of them, but um, definitely with Spider-Man and definitely with um, Wanda. And if you see that very last scene of WandaVision, you see that she's kind of off to herself, kind of beginning to collect her thoughts and is doing a lot of the same powers that we see with, with Doctor Strange. So I do think that you really need to pick up, especially since Doctor Strange, the sequel is coming out finally, because Doctor Strange actually is one of my favorite, um, one of my top, MCU films. So, and the after credit scene, I was like, we have yet to deal with this after credit scene. So I don't understand. Um, what's happening with the after credit scene? I want to know more. So, <clears throat> and um, I think a lot of MCU, especially because I'm on a podcast, Nerdorama, and a lot of them are questioning this Eternals connection, especially, but I, I mean, to me, I don't, I, 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 I find it very hard pressed to question Marvel, um, MC, yeah, Marvel, MCU, because they have done such a phenomenal job with their properties. I think the only one that I struggle with liking is Iron Man 3. But outside of Iron Man 3, they've done a fabulous job. Oh, and the Hulk. Ugh, the Hulk, all of the Hulks um, are pretty drab. But 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 I feel like the Hulk as a whole is a drab story. So I don't I don't even okay, forgive me. So but some people are really kind of stuck on this, like, so I don't get this whole, why do we need to go to the eternal? So I'm kind of curious to, so I think that that's a good thing to pick up. And one of the, like I said, one of the things that, one of the reasons why I really do read comic books, I feel like it's a palate cleanser. Um, and I do need to go to my local comic book store because I haven't been there since the pandemic. And I'm really kind of curious to see if they've, if there's been some things that have, I'm sure there's been some things that's been released, but I know a lot of the more popular comics. See, my favorite too is Ironheart and Miles Morales when it comes to comic books. And they are no longer in their own comic book. They are in the Young Avengers. And which, I mean, it Young Avengers is okay. It's It's just not my preference. I think that Miles Morales and Ironheart have a nice little story going. They had a nice story. Um, and Ironheart ended in Wakanda. And so it's kind of like that's, it's kind of an interesting thing how a lot of these comics, a lot of people, you know, a lot of them end up kind of going to Wakanda. And here's another thing about Ironheart is that she was written by a professor at um, at a Temple, a Black woman. And I, I mean, there are, no, there's not even a novel on Ironheart. There's a novel on Siri. Shuri and I have it. I just haven't read it. Um, and there's a few novels on Miles Morales. Uh, both of them, all of them done by men. So that's kind of a strange thing. Anywho, uh, I guess I should, should, I don't need to drag this on, but definitely begin to start picking up. As you can see, I've, my, my chair has been going down. I need to buy my husband a new chair. <laughs> uh, his chair is kind of sucks. Anywho, have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoy my recommendations and I will see you 
um, later this week.